All right, welcome everybody. So cool. This is going to be just a quick little video. I'm going to demonstrate um, a fix for Star Citizen on 12th and 13th gen CPUs. Um, by default, um, without some type of fix, um, Star Citizen has huge stuttering problems on these these particular processors for some reason. Um, and I, I've, I've just recently upgraded to a 13th gen CPU. It's the same thing there. I had a 12700K uh, before I got this processor, and I had the same problem. And at first, I was originally I was just disabling my E cores in the BIOS, and that that works pretty good. There's still some hitching, but that was the solution back then. Um, I've I've also found that disabling or the uh, the the a lot of motherboards got a, a update for legacy game mode. Um, to let you park your e-cores, but that, that doesn't seem to work at all. It has no effect on Star Citizen for some reason. Only by disabling the e-cores or running one of these launcher scripts or even process lasso is, seems to work. So, yeah, so let's get right into it. I'm just going to demonstrate. So this is the command that you're going to use um, for this fix. This is a, um, and the great thing about this one, this, I, I, I'm not taking credit for this command. This came from uh, some Reddit post. However, those, they had, the hex code was specific to the processor, uh, whether you had a 12700K or a 12900K. Uh, I've come up with a bit better one, and I found it even has better performance with this with this particular hex code of 555. And what this will do, it'll give it'll make Star Citizen run only on your logical P cores. It skips the E cores, and it skips hyperthreading. And the great thing about that, it, it should work on 12700K, 12900K, 13700K, and 13900K because all these processors share the same eight power core design with um, eight hyper-threaded and then whatever efficiency cores they may have. But it doesn't matter because this 555 will only enable your eight logical cores for Star Citizen. And I'm going to demonstrate that. And then we're going to launch Star Citizen. I'm going to show you the problem with it off and what it does when they're on. So just real quick, so that just so you know, your, your, your CPU is here. That's your first logical core. Then it goes hyper-threaded, logical, hyper-threaded, logical, hyper-threaded, logical, hyper-threaded, logical, hyper-threaded, logical, hyper-threaded, logical, hyper-threaded, and then finally your last logical, and then one more hyper-threaded. The last eight cores are all E cores. Uh, if you have a 12700K, it'll be the last 4K or four cores. If you have a, uh, if you have the 1300K, it'll be the last 16 cores, whatever. But um, the reason I got this is I'm going to show you exactly how Star Citizen runs with this stuff on. So let me just shrink this down because we don't need that. And we're going to, head and, we're going to launch Star Citizen without the fix, just pure default launcher, no no edit. And, and oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say, this line, um, you're gonna paste that, this whole line into your target box on your shortcut right here. This is where it goes. As you can see, this is where it goes. You just you just paste the whole thing in there, assuming that you have your launcher installed in the C drive. If you got it installed somewhere else, you'll need to edit to where your launcher is installed at. Um, and this is the default one with absolutely no change whatsoever. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch here. <clears throat> now my system, I have a I have a 4090, 13700K, and 32 gigs of DDR4 for my system. That's what I'm running, and I get fantastic FPS. I'm running well over 90 FPS in most places in Star Citizen, and at almost as high as 200 uh, out in space. Uh, but the stuttering is just unreal unless you apply, unless you lock down these cores for some reason to where it's just unplayable. Like it's just a freaking stutter fest. Um, so I'm going to go right into the game. I should go into a reader kind of loads a lot faster and it does an arena camera too. So just, you can test it there just to go into it quickly. But I'm going to go into the main game here. And I think right now I am bed logged in Microtech. So that's where we're going to start at. <clears throat> And once this all loaded up here, I'll show you uh, all my uh, my cores and how they're being utilized with the fix off, and how they're utilized with the uh, the script. I'm gonna leave this unedited and uncut. That way, people don't think there's any trickery. I'm not gonna do any cuts. I'm just gonna let it run normally, so you can see exactly what's up. Uh, make make the video a little longer, but hey, you know, it's just going to be, this, this shouldn't be any longer than 10 minutes to demonstrate all this, so. <laughs> Q. 
cue the Jeopardy music. <laughs> Shit's taking forever. Come on. Any day now. You can do it. All right, CIG, you're 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 starting to embarrass me. This is taking too long to load. Let's let's get with the program. You can do it, buddy. Any day now. Uh, come on. This usually don't take this long to log in. What's up? But that's Star Citizen for you. Sometimes it's. Sometimes it's great, sometimes it's not. Oh, I think it's about to go. Yep, there it goes. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Come on, quit play quit teasing me. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're logged in. We're going to get out of bed. And immediately you're going to see the stuttering and hitching. Like, it's just absolutely freaking awful. Like, it's just stutter, 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 stutter. These micro... It's not even micro stutters. It's just straight up stuttering it's just terrible and my free my fps is pretty low too when with this fix on when you turn off hyper thinning i should be pulling 90 to 100 here in this same area and you'll see this here in a minute i'm, I'm gonna demonstrate but as you can see it doesn't clean up it doesn't get better it just constantly freaking stutters it is a slideshow in my eyes this is unplayable all right so with that oh real quick so you can see every every damn cpu is being utilized right now and it's not good. It's not good at all. So let's go ahead and log out. And all we're going to do is we're going to launch the other core or the other launcher here. Wait a minute. What's going on? Okay. There we go. Is that the right one? Let me take sure. I don't know what's going on. Okay. That's weird. It's not really. Usually that, okay, it's just light. And we're gonna go into it. That was throwing me off for a minute. I couldn't actually see the, oh, it's very faint because of my background. I couldn't see the, the button light up. And this is gonna be very different. Once we get to the game, you'll see that only my logical cores are gonna be utilized. And it's going to be butter smooth. That's that's the important part. It's just butter, 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 butter smooth gameplay. And that's what you want. You don't want stutters. Stutters are bad. And I don't know, like, I don't know if this is a CIG problem or if it's a Microsoft problem or, or what, but well, at least there's a solution, but I wish you didn't have to do this, but it is what it is, I guess. And before I close up this video, I will show you uh, process lasso. You can do this. You can do the exact same thing with process lasso. You don't have to run the script if you want to run that. But I'll show you what it does. I, and that, I used process lasso to, even, to find the hex code, how to do this in the first place. So, and I'll demonstrate that as well, very quickly before we uh, we wrap this video up. So get out of bed here, and immediately you should be able to tell. Even my FPS is higher. So nice and smooth. No frickin' stutters. You might see the occasional hitch here and there, but it's just night and day difference. Like, night and day. What's up, buddy? I don't have any of my gear on. Just running around in my jumpsuit. I got a lot of gear though. I'm just gonna walk around a little bit out of Microtech here to kind of show you how well it runs. But I've been getting really, really, really good FPS with this 4090 and 13700K. I think on my 12700K and my 30NTI in Microtech, I was usually around 50 FPS average. And now I'm well above 60. 
Capsule now approaching station. Stand clear of distance. And like I said, once you get away from the planet, um, I'm like 150, 200 MPS flying around in most places. Eventually, I'm going to frame cap that. I don't, I don't care about excessive MPS because my monitor is only 120 hertz anyway. But for now, I'm, just, I'm letting it run because I just got the car. Just kind of want to see what it does, see where it tops out at, and then eventually I'm going to frame cap this, probably at 100 FPS. I don't, I'm, I'm fine with that. That way, I don't have to overwork my car for no apparent reason. But even now, I mean, uh, shoot, it's only what 340 watt, 318 watts, 77. That's pretty good. see the process you can see how it's just running the logical cores all eight of them now it doesn't actually disable your e cores just the e cores now are doing background tasks rather than freaking star citizen tasks like they should be and that's why this works so well so this is all star citizen and everything else is just background tasks so it doesn't actually disable them which is the benefit of not doing this to the bios or any other way you still they're still there being used it just doesn't you know star citizen just runs like it should without the uh, all the headache there And who wants to log into their BIOS and disable E cores every time they want to play? That's a that's a pain in the ass. I don't want to do that. This is a much better solution. Now we're getting up to 100 FPS. That's really good for Microtech. Now I think or uh oh. Something happened there. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Trying to reload in it. Orison is still not great. I think I think I'm about 60, 50 to 60 in Orison, but I believe Orison is not under the Gen 12 renderer yet. I think it's still running over. And we're supposed to get that update in um, 318. Um, so that area is still a little rough to run, especially around the Hab area. No matter what hardware you got, but it is better than what it was on the 3080 Ti. Classic Star Citizen uh, parade rest there for you. Well, at least they're not the standing Empire on tables, right? Alright, so I'm gonna log out of this. Well, actually, no. Let me show you process less. Uh, actually, yeah, I can log out of this. We don't need this running to do that. Before this video gets too long. All right, so actually, I do need it running. <laughs> actually, I think we can do the launcher or some other exe. But normally, you would have Star Citizen running here, and um, you would go CPU sets always. And these are the CPUs that you would have running. And if you notice, if I put in five five five, that's your logical cores. That's how I came up with the. Um, that's how I figured out. I just need one more five. What the hex code was for this pro or for all these processors, because if you turn those on, it gives you the hex code um, that you need to put into the launcher script, just like that. Five five five. So that's all your logical cores, and that's how I came up with it. But you can you can use processor or you can just use the script. Either way, either way works just fine. The only difference is is when you launch Star Citizen, make sure you right click on the Star Citizen executable. Um, kind of like I just demonstrated here. So we're just using the RSS launcher. Go to CPU sets always, and then just turn on every other core for 0 through 14. And that will do the exact same thing that um, this script right here is doing right here. Okay. Anyway, I hope that helps everybody out. Um, uh, see you in a verse and game on. Later.